everyone a hearty welcome to smile kids channel in this video we are going to see the explanation of class 9 mathematics chapter 1 number system introduction but before that subscribe to our channel smiley kids so let's get started before knowing about real numbers we should know about natural numbers whole numbers integers and rational numbers what are natural numbers the numbers which are used to count are called natural numbers. I have drawn few balls on the screen. Now I am asking a question saying that how many balls are there on the screen? You would say there are 5 balls. How did you say that? This is one ball, two balls, three balls, four balls and five balls. And hence you ended up saying that there are five balls. Where did you start the counting from? You started it from one. Yes. Natural numbers are also called the counting numbers. We started our counting from one. Then we said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we said there are 5 balls. Right. So the numbers which are used to count are called the natural numbers. They start from 1 and end till infinity. Natural numbers are denoted by the letter N. Whole numbers. 0 and natural numbers together are called whole numbers. What are natural numbers? We have just now seen that the natural numbers start from 1 and end till infinity. Right? Now 0 and these natural numbers together form whole numbers. We have seen that 1 to infinity this entire set is natural numbers right for whole numbers collection we have another new number that is 0 so 0 and natural numbers together are called whole numbers whole numbers are denoted by the letter W Then we have integers. Whole numbers and negative numbers are called integers. We have seen the whole numbers are the numbers which start from 0 and end till infinity. Now the collection of integers says that whole numbers and negative numbers together form integers. Integers are denoted by the letter Z. Here we have 0. Right to the 0, we have all the positive numbers. And left to the 0, we have all the negative numbers. The collection of negative numbers and the whole numbers together is called integers. And integers are denoted by the letter Z. To the right of 0 we have positive numbers and to the left of 0 we have negative numbers. Then what is a rational number? A rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form of P by Q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. That means any number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where both numerator and denominator that is both p and q are integers and q that is the denominator should never be equal to 0. Let's see a few examples. Let's say I have 14 by 15. This is a rational number because it is in the form of P by Q. 
here p is 14 and q is 15 this is a rational number let's see another example can i say 15 is a rational number yes it is 15 is a rational number it can be expressed in the form of p by q as 15 by 1 15 by 1 is in the form of p by q where p is 15 and q is 1 so it is a rational number let's say i have 14.1 is this a rational number hmm yes it is it can be expressed in the form of p by q as 141 by 10 and hence 141 by 10 is a rational number of course 14.1 is a rational number because any number which can be expressed in the form of p by q is a rational number now you would probably ask is 9 by 0 a rational number is 9 by 0 a rational number no it is not because here p is 9 and q is 0 which is not possible q should never be equal to 0 right rational number is such a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers but q should not be equal to 0 you might ask a question saying that why is q not equal to 0 yes in case i have any number by 0 it is not defined any number by 0 is not defined and hence q should never be equal to 0 whereas if i say 0 by 2 then this is equal to 0 this is a rational number 0 by 2 is a rational number right 0 by 2 is equal to 0 but 2 by 0 is not defined right now is 0 a rational number yes it is a rational number it can be expressed in the form of p by q as 0 by 1 or as we have seen we can write it as 0 by 2 0 by 3 0 by 4 all the answers end up having zero right so zero is also a rational number because it is such a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero so all these are the examples of rational numbers now let's see the representation of rational numbers first we have natural numbers which start from 1 natural numbers start from 1 and end till infinity then we have whole numbers they start from 0 the collection of natural numbers and 0 is whole numbers right all the natural numbers are whole numbers remember that then we have integers integers are denoted by the letter z the collection of negative numbers and whole numbers is integers minus 2 minus 1 0 and then we have 1 2 and so on right all the whole numbers and natural numbers are integers then we have rational numbers what are rational numbers the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero the rational numbers are denoted by the letter q here we have few examples right 9 by 10 minus 7 by 25 0 1 2645 all these are rational numbers they can be expressed in the form of p by q now what does this representation conclude it concludes that natural numbers whole numbers and integers all are rational numbers now what is an irrational number 
An irrational number is defined as a number that cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So the numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q are called the irrational numbers. Let's see few examples. Let's say the square root of 2. You will get something like this 1.414213562237 and so on. Look at square root of 3. You get something like this saying that 1.732050807 and so on. So what do you observe? They are non-terminating and they are non-recurring. What does non-terminating mean? They don't have an end. They are never ending. And what does non-recurring mean? They don't have any pattern. So irrational numbers are those numbers which, which are non-terminating and non-recurring. If you look at the square root of 2, we have got something like this. This is not the final answer. There is still more answer which is not ending at all. That means these numbers are called the non-terminating numbers. They never end. And what of non-recurring? They don't have any other pattern. It seems to be like 1.414213562327. Do they have any pattern? No. Pattern in the sense like this. 0 0.0001001000001. This is a pattern kind of decimal. But do you think these both have pattern? No, they don't. So these numbers which don't have a pattern or they are never ending, these numbers are called the irrational numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of P by Q. Now what are real numbers? This is our actual topic. The collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real numbers. That means both irrational numbers and rational numbers come under the collection of real numbers. Let's see a few examples. Let's say I have 1 by 2. This is a rational number. It is also a real number. Right? So 1 by 2 is an, also an example for the real numbers. Let's say pi. This is an irrational number. Right? Which is 22 by 7. And we end up having a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal. Right? So this is a irrational number. Which is also a real number. Let's see another example. 151 by 16. This is a rational number which is also a real number. The square root of 7. This is an irrational number, which is also a real number. Square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5. All these are irrational numbers, which are also the real numbers. So, all the rational and irrational numbers together are called the real numbers. Let's see the representation of real numbers. First, I have natural numbers then I have whole numbers this representation means that na all natural numbers are whole numbers right after whole numbers we have integers all natural numbers and whole numbers are integers. Then we have rational numbers. All integers, whole numbers and natural numbers are rational numbers. 
then separately we have irrational numbers right this whole collection is called real numbers so this is how we represent real numbers real numbers is a collection of both rational and irrational numbers hope you like this video if you find this helpful do like share comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs subscribe our channel smiley kids and click on the bell icon for all the updates thank you friends